Can you believe this photo was almost banned? They almost took this from us. So this is what happened. And to give you a little bit of a backstory on the picture, it's known as VJ Day in Times Square. It was taken by Alfred Eisenstadt, a photographer, and it portrays a U.S. Navy sailor embracing and kissing a total stranger, a dental assistant, on Victory Over Japan Day in New York City Times Square, August 14th, 1945. The photograph was published a week later in Life magazine, among many photographs of celebrations around the United States that were presented in a 12-page section entitled Victory Celebrations. A two-page spread faces a montage of three similar photographs taken in Washington, D.C., Kansas City, and Miami. The image has become infamous historically and is displayed at many VA facilities across the United States. So that brings me to recently. Yesterday, a very popular Twitter account shared an internal email from the VA Assistant Secretary for Health and Operations, Rima Ann Nelson, and it was widely shared within this email that was in fact authenticated this is what it stated. So the memo sent to the Veterans Integrated Services ne Network directors on February 29th requested the photo be removed and replaced at all VA facilities to maintain a safe, respectful, and trauma-informed environment. Nelson writes that the photo depicts a non-consensual act which is inconsistent with the VA's no tolerance. And you can see down here, the VA did confirm to the Hill this publication that the memo was authentic, uh, but that it should have never been sent out. And the Secretary of VA Affairs did tweet out this. He said, let me be clear, this image is not banned from VA facilities and we will keep it in VA facilities. As for the actual identity of the woman in the photograph, it's not 100% known, although there, although there are two main claimants. One is Greta Zimmer Friedman. She died at the age of 92 in 2016 in Richmond, Virginia of natural age-related causes. And uh, the authors of a book called The Kissing Sailor um, came out in 2012, uh, used interviews from her, and they were pretty positive that she was in fact the woman in the photograph as she was also a dental assistant during that time in New York City and claims that that was her. So another woman, Edith Shane, wrote the actual photographer in 1980 and she claims to be the woman in the photograph. And it actually said that her letter prompted a number of other replies, people coming forward, some men claiming they were the man, some women claiming that they were the woman. In fact, she made a name for herself with this claim. She also passed away at the age of 91 in 2010. So the true identity, I'm not sure, will ever be known. But the picture remains.